Ah, oh, love it. What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl V and today as you can tell by the title, I'll be sharing with you guys my luxury perfume collection for 2023 and these are all of my favorite date night perfume so if this is something that you're interested in please stay tuned to the video okay girl so let's just hop right into it so as you know valentine's day is around the corner and what better way to celebrate valentine's day than with the perfect fragrance and these are going to be super long lasting fragrance that is going to have him all over you girl like i said these are the best date night perfumes in my opinion perfect for date night a uh, first date first impressions to get all of the compliments and have people breaking their necks wondering what you're wearing so the first fragrance that is high on my list and i absolutely love i recently just picked this up and that is the prada paradox this is in the warm florals category. It has a very sweet but sophisticated scent to it. This is the perfect grown and sexy fragrance in my opinion. It doesn't have that super like girly scent to it, but it is super sweet and floral, but it is giving grown. It's giving grown woman. It's not giving childish at all. This is so nice. I absolutely love it. This will work so nice on your date night, on a first date, first impressions. It's lovely. It's yummy. It has the perfect sweet floral to it. Oh, I just cannot. Oh, love it. I cannot recommend this anymore, like honestly. It has white amber in it, white musk, and neroli bud. So it just gives you super floral vibes, but in a nice, warm, and sophisticated way. And the bottle is super cute as well. The design is super cute. It's different. It just screams luxury, in my opinion. And I feel like Prada did such a good job with this perfume. Another one on my list in my luxury perfume category and this is Twilly by Hermes and this is a floral again but it's described as a powdery floral. This has ginger, tumorose, and sandalwood in it. Now me personally I'm gonna be very honest with you I do not feel like this is going to be for everyone. The ginger in this is super strong so if you're not a ginger fan stay away like don't even bother because the ginger is quite strong in it and it does kind of have a citrusy fruity scent in my opinion but it does still smell good but it smells super unique i'm telling you you're gonna smell so unique with this not a lot of people are gonna smell like you i'm telling you because personally i feel like a lot of people don't gravitate toward this one but i personally like it and if you're into that different head turning fragrance this will work so perfect for you packaging is super cute i think hermes did a good job with the packaging so if anything i think the bottle sells it for me this bow is so cute and it's so super nice and small and it's an eau de parfum i personally like eau de parfums because they last a whole lot longer you can spray a light amount of this and it's going to last on your skin super long especially if you apply some oil to your skin that will help it stick a whole lot better so again the twill by Hermes is high on my long lasting fragrances for date night and next on my list is the Miss Dior absolutely blooming by Dior and this is described as a warm floral again it has red berries and rose in it this fragrance is a floral delight you will return to over and over the top notes of tangy red berry are joyful and striking at the heart of this perfume a sublime duet of Rass and Demarcus Rose embraces peony this ambiance of fresh flowers and is enveloped in a base of white musk so you do have a little bit of the musk kicking through in it in my opinion but the floral really does shine through and again this is a nice sweet but grown and sophisticated floral it's not super childish at all this smells super rich when you put this on it just smells so rich it makes you just smell expensive it makes you smell like a grown 
woman i'm telling you again perfect for date night perfect for first impressions even if you're going out with the girls and you want to hang out by the bar or whatever or you're just having a regular old night in whatever it is i would highly recommend the miss dior because it just it's that girl it's gonna have you smelling super nice and rich like i keep saying <laughs> next is one of my all-time favorites i absolutely love this perfume and this is the valentino born in roma this is another warm floral it has jasmine bergamot and wood overdose and bourbon vanilla you do smell the vanilla you smell the jasmine and it's just one of those Mm, it smells so good. It's not too sweet to the point where it's giving super floral, but it does have a little bit of sweetness in there to give it that warm floral vibe. The jasmine shines through in it for me. You do get a little bit of vanilla at the end, but it's not overpowering at all. Uh, this perfume is so perfect for date night, Valentine's Day, whatever you got going on and you just wanna make a good first impression or you just wanna get compliments, this is gonna get it for you, babe. It's on everyone's list for a reason. All of the hype is true. I'm telling you, if you don't have it in your collection, you need it because it's that girl. It's gonna, it's gonna do it for you every time. And as you can see, I've been using this up. I highly love this perfume and the packaging is cute if you're a packaging girl like myself if you're interested in blind buying as well i think this is a perfect blind buy if you're into that warm floral type of scent keeping it in the valentino family we're going with the vos viva by valentino now this the packaging alone sells it for me but this is going to be the perfect first date perfume. This is gonna be the perfect date night perfume. If you want him all over you, girl, this just makes you smell like a snack. It makes you smell like a snack. As you can see, I've used it all up because this is, this is in my top five of favorite perfumes. I love this. It has keynotes of bergamot, orange blossom absolute, and crystal moss accord. It's in the warm florals family. You really do smell the orange in it, but it's not citrusy. It has more of a floral warmth to it. It's not citrusy at all, but the orange shines through in it for me. It just smells so nice and warm and sweet, but not too sweet as in giving you flowers. It's sweet as in more like candy but not childish candy more like a grown and sexy candy if that makes sense but yeah this you need it he's gonna be all over you every time i wear this perfume i get a load of compliments and people are always like oh my god what are you wearing it's her it's her she's the one and it smells super rich as well this doesn't give cheap at all this gives she has money she is clean she takes care of herself that's what this gives to me so every time you wear this make sure you're dressed okay make sure you are looking good your hair is fixed your makeup's done everything is on point because this is going to turn ahead okay another one that's high on my recommendation for you to add to your collection and perfect for date night and this is going to be c by giorgio armani and this is the c passion so this one is described as a fruity floral it has rose and woody vanilla in it now this is super intense in my opinion this is more winter and fall appropriate in my opinion because although it is fruity it's not like your strawberry apple type of fruity it has it has a kick in there something is in there that is giving it a kick in my opinion it's woody vanilla so you do pick that up as well at the end in my opinion it doesn't open with vanilla at all but as it dries down you do kind of sort of start to smell the vanilla but the fruitiness pushed through and it's described as after opening with a burst of sparkling pear the seductive scent reveals a deep rose petal heart and a smothering woody vanilla base so you really do smell the flower and the floral in it but as it dries down the vanilla shines through in my opinion but again this is nighttime wear i wouldn't suggest wearing this in the day because it does get a whole lot stronger in my opinion as it dries down but this is perfect i prefer this over the original c i feel like the original c by Giorgio armani is a little bit more on the lighter side but if you like more intense fragrances like myself this would be perfect for you now this one is going to be highly recommended by me i feel like every woman needs a chanel perfume in their collection if you don't like chanel i get it because it does 
give very much grown woman very much grown woman and not everyone likes that i personally wasn't a fan of a lot of the chanel fragrances but when i got this this one really stood out to me and this is the coco mademoiselle and this pulls very powdery to me it's giving powdery fresh but in a warm floral way so it's not giving that old lady smell that a lot of the chanel fragrances give in my opinion but then again it all depends on your body chemistry and how fragrances dry down on you but for me other chanel fragrances dry down very old grandma to me on myself but this one still holds that nice fresh powdery floral scent to it it's described as being a warm floral it has orange, patchouli, and Turkish rose in it. The description says it's irresistibly sexy, irrepressibly spirited. A sparkling ambery fragrance that recalls a daring young Coco Chanel. An absolutely modern composition with a strong yet surprisingly fresh character. So again, it is giving really fresh but in a warm floral way. So if you are not a fan of any of the Chanel fragrances and you've never tried Chanel before, I would highly recommend the Coco Mademoiselle. Now this, let's talk about her. Let's talk about the epidemic of this hair, crack pipe. <laughs> This, as you can tell, it's almost done, girl. I love this. I love this. I love this. And this is the Giorgio Armani My Way Intense. The regular version is not giving, but the intense, wow. 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 Okay. This has orange blossom in it, tumorose, sandalwood, and vanilla. You really do smell the vanilla. You do smell the sandalwood. It just smells so nice and warm. And oh, I just love this perfume. I was wearing this one time out in, I think I went to the mall or something like that. And a lady literally stopped me and she was like, oh my God, what are you wearing? I have to go and buy that right now. My way intense. Get into it, get on it. I'm telling you, it just screams and it lasts literally all day. This is an Audit Perfume as well. I highly recommend Audit Perfumes. They last so much longer than Twilets. Like the EDPs last so much longer. They have at least five to eight hour wear. If you wanna get longevity out of it, like I said, put some body oil, do your body hair and spray it on up and you're gonna smell good all day. Make sure to get your points. You know what I mean? <laughs> Make sure you're hitting all the right points when you're wearing this because it lasts. As it soaks into your skin, it it just, mmm, oh, it smells so nice. It smells so sweet and sexy. You smell like a yummy snack, a yummy, an orange juice, orange, orange pastry. That's how you smell. You smell so nice and warm. You smell edible. Oh, I love this. I love this perfume. High on my recommendation. Perfect for date night. Anything that you want to make a good first impression, you want compliments, you want people turning their head, my way intense. And if you notice, all of these are in the warm floral category because I feel like warm floral is perfect for date night because you don't want to be too overpowering, but you also want to be sweet and sexy as well with a little hit of some musk or some vanilla to give that oomph, if you know what I mean. And next we have the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And as the name suggests, it is flowers. It's giving super floral, but in a sophisticated way, like I keep mentioning, because these aren't childish perfume at all. When you think floral, sometimes you think super flowery and little girl, but these are high quality florals. It's top notes, it's bergamot. It has a heart of jasmine and African orange flower, rose and orchid, and then it has a base of musk and patchouli. You really do smell the jasmine and the bergamot in it. It does have a fresh dry down in my opinion. All of the flowers and the florals come together to make this such a nice, appropriate day or nighttime perfume in my opinion i would probably wear this out to brunch or anything daytime when it comes to date night or anything like that but you can also wear this at night as well but i think it would do you justice to wear it in the daytime just so it gets the appreciation that it deserves because if you wear it at night i feel like it's the nighttime is going to overpower this although it still can be nice but i feel like this is more daytime appropriate in my opinion now, of course, there is no most complimented luxury fragrance without the 
Miss Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. This is a staple for everyone. Every woman who wants to smell good, you need this in your collection. She is that girl for a reason. All of the hype is true. Everyone loves it for a reason. It is that good. This just smells nice. It smells rich. It smells like you have your shit together. This is, it's it, it's it. <laughs> it has tumorose, jasmine, and tonka bean in it. It's described as a warm floral. Like I said, all of these are warm florals to keep it nice and sweet and sexy for date night. And it's described as being sweet and alluring qualities of jasmine give good girl its brightness and femininity. The darker side is created with richly fragrant cocoa and intoxicating tonka. Almonds and coffee bring the scent into its immediate vibrance. Tumorose extracted in a new wave that creates a rich delicacy is a fragrance wild card, bringing fluidity and femininity. Good girl amplifies the effortless elegance and of the house of Herrera so you do get that tonka bean like I said you do smell a hint of the coffee but the coffee is not super overpowering and the cocoa as well it's not super overpowering but this fragrance just pulls together so nicely this is one of the more stronger scents so I would highly recommend wearing this at night out to dinner or anything in the night that you're doing because this is super strong and it's going to be very loud so this is not gonna work for the daytime. I mean, you can do whatever you want and wear it in the day if you please, but this is a nighttime fragrance. Preferably for the fall and winter, but you can wear this year round. This is that girl. It's gonna get you the looks. It's gonna get you the attention. It's that, it's that girl, okay? Another on the list that I highly recommend is this. The V is Belle by Lancome. This is described as a warm and sweet gourmand and it is so nice and sophisticated. I feel like this will be perfect for the more mature crowd because it, it smells super sophisticated. The florals in it just give it that I'm a grown woman scent. Not like grandma grown woman, but grown woman as in I pay my own bills, I pay my own car note, I have a mortgage. It's giving that, but in a sweet, sexy way. It has keynotes of iris, patchouli, and vanilla, and it's described as this floral perfume intertwines iris, patchouli, and Arabian jasmine with sweet notes of orange blossom, warm vanilla, and spun sugar. In a modern interpretation of a warm floral, this long-lasting women's fragrance stands out with a twist of gourmand unique to its vanilla perfume base. So if you like vanilla, if you like sweet florals, this will be perfect for you. Like I said, very much grown woman. I wouldn't see an 18 year old, a 20 year old liking this. This is for the 25 plus club. I don't feel like a 18 or 20 year old can appreciate this. And that's no shade, that's just the truth, okay? So if you wanna smell like a grown woman, this is the perfect grown woman perfume for you. If you don't like any other perfume in this category, La Vie is Belle, and it is super long lasting. I'm telling you, this could probably last you up to 24 hours. If you spray it right and you do your body care right, this, this has lasting power. I absolutely love this and I highly recommend. This is perfect for, like I said, the older crowd. So if you're dating an older guy, he would appreciate this a lot as well because it is very sophisticated. And the last one, I could not leave this out of my list. I mentioned this in my most complimented fall fragrances, but I had to bring it back again because it is just that good. And this is the YSL Libre Intense. I love this fragrance. I love this fragrance. I feel like this is the best, the best date night perfume. He's gonna be all over you. Everyone is gonna be breaking their necks and wondering, whoa, who is that? What's she wearing? Why does she smell so good? Why I sell Libre Intense. Every woman needs this in her collection. It's it's that girl, it smells so amazing. Again, this is described as a warm floral. It has lavender intense, orange blossom, and orchid accord. It says that this fragrance contains signature notes of lavender essence from France, a Moroccan orange blossom combined with glowing orchid and warm vanilla to push this fragrance to the extreme. It is a long lasting sensual twist on the floral fragrance. So you do get the floral, you do get the vanilla. I feel like the vanilla really shines through when this dries down. The orange blossom also shines through as well, giving it that sweetness, but it's the vanilla for me. And this is just all around a great perfume. It smells super expensive. It sticks to your skin. It lasts 
all day. I'm telling you, this is super long lasting and you will love it. I don't know anyone who doesn't love this perfume. And I got the big bottle. This is like the 90, this is the 90 mil. And this was super expensive as well, but it's worth it, okay? It is totally worth it. He's gonna be all over you. And if it's not a he, a she, whoever it is, they're gonna love it because it just does it for you. I don't know, I may be biased, but this is probably my all time favorite perfume. <laughs> Honestly, I love it. This is my second bottle and this is a big bottle. So it lasts super long as well And there you have it you guys all of my highly recommended date night perfumes from my luxury perfume collection for 2023 I really do hope that this video was helpful and enjoyable Please let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances down below and also let me know any other recommendations You have that would be perfect for date night or any special occasion this year Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Until next time, bye!